Uh, I received a circumcision uh, on, day, on day one, maybe day two, which is great because I got the worst day of my life out of my way right off, right off the bat. Pretty grateful for that. My family wanted to circumcise me because doctors said, hey, this kid might not be able to clean his penis that good. And, and then they looked at me and they were like, well, this kid's going to need all the help he can get. And we're modest income people. How are we going to afford penis cleaning college, you know? I, I really am a little insulted that they didn't think I could clean my penis that good because I'm an adult now and I've achieved a lot of things that are complicated. I drove a car to get here. So now I just want the opportunity to, to prove to my parents that I, I can do it. So if anybody has an uncircumcised penis, then they'll let me clean. And, and let me get it on video so I can, send it to, I can send it to my mom and dad. They can be proud of me. We can progress in our relationship. I would like to know where my foreskin is today. It better not be in the trash. I hope it got used for something. Hopefully compost for a fruit tree. Even if it's in a billionaire's adrenochrome cocktail. Great. I just don't want it to be wasted. You know? Big... All right, confusing reaction. Yes, good. I've heard this whole circumcision thing started with, uh, you know, the tale, the old Jewish tale in the in the Bible when God told Abraham, "Hey, I want you to kill your son for me. Do it for me, God." And Abraham's like, "All right." And, and then God's like, "Hey, just kidding, Abraham. I was just checking to make sure you'll do any crazy ass thing I tell you to do." Therefore, chop part of your son's penis off and then chop part of your son's and chop part of your penis off. That's what I did. <laughs> My family would often refer to God as a dude, so I, I keep imagining God's penis. Is it circumcised? Is it not? Did he do it himself? Did he hire somebody to do it? Is that how the universe came to be? God jacked off and here we are? <clears throat> I hear people talk about, I hear racist people talk about, all oh, the Jews, they're a big influence on the media and they're a big influence in the financial world. But hey, check this out, racist. They've also influenced a whole group of people that aren't Jews to chop off parts of dicks. <laughs> Because my family's not Jewish, but now my penis looks like it's wearing a yarmulke. I do got to admit, for a chopped off part of the body, it does look pretty good. I can't imagine any other part of the body you could cut off and it's like, oh, that looks pretty good. I feel like if the circumcision thing is ever going to stop, it's going to be a simple name change. Maybe something like, instead of circumcision, uh, genital mutilation. And if that's brought up in the hospital, they'll, they'll be like, oh, congratulations on your baby boy. We can go ahead and mutilate his genitals if you like. No, it's covered in your insurance. Anyway, that's all about my time. Unless somebody's got any questions, we can do a little Q&A or...